What's up guys? Oh wow, I'm so oh. loud. Welcome back to another video. Today we are making our favorite Starbucks drinks at home. So we're gonna be showing you guys and also learning how to make the drinks that we get. So hers is the strawberry acai refresher. Mine Just kidding, is it's a pink, pink drink. drink. What? I was kidding. So pink drink is gonna be the first one we're making. So if you've never had it, here is what it looks like from Starbucks. We went to Starbucks, got all three of the drinks that we're gonna be making to test and compare how ours match up. So the recipes that we got, they're not directly from Starbucks. They're just like what we saw other people like testing Like online out. DIY. Yeah, and then we people. just got the one, we took the recipes that people said it tasted most like the actual drink. I'm sure Starbucks does it way differently. This is just how we saw you could do it. Hopefully, at least these will. Yeah, if it like tastes similar, somewhat. I'm gonna be so excited. I would literally make one every single day at my house. Save the turtle straws. So that was. Ah. So the ingredients are coconut milk strawberries and I don't know what kind of juice they use at Starbucks the one I saw online said like white cramp white strawberry cranberry juice tasted best but I couldn't Ocean find that spray but we couldn't find that so we just yeah. got regular cran raspberry which should be similar. I have no idea how it's gonna taste I think it's gonna be similar so <laughs> so okay. we're gonna make this one first um, oh so we're gonna make this one first <laughs> why is this chunky you're supposed to shake it first though girl come on I hate anything that tastes like coconut, but the pink drink for some reason I've always liked it. It doesn't taste like coconut whatsoever. Okay, so the first, oh. So we got half a cup of coconut milk, which I think this line is like a cup. So we're just gonna measure like half. Oh. oh. Isaiah! So we added our coconut milk. Now we're gonna add the ice. And then this drink has like a little strawberry garnish on it. So I think you can use either just like the frozen strawberries or like those dried strawberries. Yeah, I think they use dehydrated strawberries. And we're this. just gonna do fresh then, strawberries. We'll do some in between. And then I'm gonna put this cran raspberry juice in. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I think that's good. I think that's good. I, I think, think you're supposed good. to fill it up. I think that's good. I think you're supposed Babe, to fill it up. it's not gonna be pinky, dum dum. Why is it purple? You put too much. No. Too much what? Too much cranberry juice. I already told you. It was pink before. Let's you put more milk in it then. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe the stuff. Chill, chill, maybe chill. Maybe the strawberry is. I mean, this is kind of pink. All right, put my strawberries in. I think they have way more coconut milk. No. Okay, let me just try it first okay. and I'll tell you so. what it needs. <laughs> try. That tastes like shit. It needs way more juice. Wow. Way, way, way more juice. It just juice. tastes like just complete coconut. Okay, let me drink some. I knew it needed more juice. It's very little, little coconut milk and then the rest all the way up is juice. You dummy. Is it good? No, it tastes like shit. <laughs> it literally tastes so bad. I feel like there's supposed to be more sweetness, and I think this is the wrong I think juice. This is the wrong juice. We got the real one here. One. Look at the shade difference. Okay, it's starting to taste better. Did you put more juice in it? Yeah. It honestly tastes so bad. I knew it was too good to be true. Me too. There's no way just cranberry juice and coconut milk. Well, first of all, we didn't get the right juice. All right, let's taste the real one. So the real one is a lot lighter. It's so good. Yeah, it's the strawberry juice. Okay, okay, I'm sad. Epic freaking fail. Not good at all. Yeah, this is going in the trash. On to the next drink. For the next drink, we have a chai tea latte. You can make this iced or hot. I prefer it iced. And what's funny is I never got it until we did the video of letting yeah. people order in front of us. Yeah, oh my gosh. The guy true. in front of us ordered this, and I was like, oh, this looks weird. And I tied it. I tasted it. I tasted it and it was delicious. It's just like, um, it's just like festive. It has like the cinnamon and the Kind of tastes like a pumpkin spice. Kind of like a pumpkin spice, like tea latte thing. Okay, this drink is super easy. I mean, that one was pretty easy too. I didn't think it, it was, was easy because it was disgusting. It was easy because it was bad. This chai, chai, the chai tea latte is basically just chai tea. So we just got this at our grocery store. Apparently, so I looked it up, and this is what Starbucks uses, the oh, brand really? Starbucks uses. So chai tea, I guess, is just like black tea, but it has like cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, and vanilla. Two ingredients: this and milk. That is it, and ice. Yeah. Basically, they just said it's equal parts. Let's put this in. Ooh, Ooh that's dark. It's a little muddy. And then we do equal parts milk. 
Ooh, yeah, this looks exactly like it. Ooh! So, and now and time for, for the taste test. Wait. Oh, wait. my bad. A little bit of cinnamon on top. Boom. Perfect. Ooh, it looks this just like looks it. Ju oh, should we get the real one? Yeah, let me go get the real one. Pretty similar. I mean, this cup yeah. is a little bit less see-through. It's not like just plain plastic. It's kind of a... Uh, mm -hmm. What is it? Like, mm. what is it called? I'm going to try it. Mm. What? What's wrong with it? You taste it. It's good, it's still good. We need more tea. I think I put too much milk, not strong enough. Well, let's, it tastes let's try really this one. similar. It tastes very similar, yeah. It's but like the something's same off about it. I think it's just not enough tea. I think they usually put, it like, seems like stronger. What's the Whoa. difference? Whoa, it's pretty similar. Oh, this one's way better. But it is better. <laughs> this one's more rich. Like yeah, it's like, like it's, thicker. It's not thicker. It tastes thicker. The thickness isn't a taste. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. This one tastes a little okay. thicker. I guess what... You... That one tastes more watered down. It does taste watered down. It's like something off about it. It's not bad. Like the pink drink that we made, that one was bad. This one's not bad. It just doesn't taste quite the same. Maybe they put a little sugar in it or something. I don't know. But yeah, this one's way sweeter. This one is a lot sweeter. Starbucks is doing something. They're keeping some Yeah, they have some, some kind of ingredients. Yeah. So, on to the next one. So, for the next one... <laughs> For the next one, we are going to be doing a ice caramel macchiato. So, so one of three has to come out then. You can do all these really ice or hot, except the pink drink. Mm -hmm. Ugh, no, hot was hot. Yeah. But basically, a caramel macchiato is milk with espresso and caramel on top. It's mostly milk, like three-fourths milk, and mm -hmm. then the rest, usually they just do like a shot of espresso on top, mm -hmm. and then caramel. Whatever. So instead of espresso, because we don't have an espresso machine, you could use black coffee is what people said, but it's not going to be as strong. Mm -hmm. So we got cold brew, just plain black cold brew that you can buy from the store, just like in a bottle. Because cold brew is a little bit stronger. First, what we're going to do, I don't know why I got this out. Get the milk, mostly milk. So we're going to use the 2% milk, which like I said, like three fourths. Can I do this yet? So like mostly milk. So for the coffee, what he did is he put some kind of flavoring in the coffee. So I think if we put a little bit of caramel in the coffee, mm -hmm. because what in a caramel macchiato or any macchiato, you want it to have like that separation. But you want to do this very slow so it doesn't go all the way through. I don't even know if this is correct. And the trick that I saw, because I watched a YouTube video on this, is to pour it directly on an ice cube so it doesn't like go Ooh. to the bottom. Okay, so there's that, the separation. Yeah. And then go ahead and do the caramel drizzle on top. Okay, girl, dang. I mean, this looks pretty good. This is the one from Starbucks, and then this is the one we just made. So this one is a little bit lighter, the coffee on top, and this one is a little bit darker. I think they might have put like a little bit of cream or something. Mm -hmm. in, but so let's I'm gonna mix, mix them this both up. Too. Ooh, look at that. Oh no, this one is super light. It's funny because this one was lighter at first. Yeah. What? What is it missing? Something is wrong. Just taste it. <laughs> it's good. I mean, it's good. But I think good. it's missing caramel. If you drink this, I bet you it's going to taste like so sweet. All right, so let's taste this one. Oh my God. <laughs> Just taste it. It's like caramel like. Literally. You have to put way more caramel in it. Trust. Here we go. We're just gonna go ham. That was a lot. Should I put more? No, do not put just more. Just saying. I think a lot of people like flavored it with vanilla, like sugar. Vanilla vanilla. syrup, yeah. All right, that's way too much. Now it's too sweet? Yeah, that You're was You're lying. Disgusting. It's just not as like rich as the other one. I can drink this. Yeah, if I me like too. caramel macchiatos, I just, I can. It just doesn't taste as strong either. I saw for this one, somebody put like a syrup in it also. It was either also caramel, like not sauce, but syrup, and then like a vanilla syrup, and then the caramel sauce. This one's so good. Oh my God. The Starbucks ones were sweeter. These are all like you versus the man she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> like cereal. Like when you get the Fruity Pebbles, the real Fruity Pebbles, and then you get the store brand Fruity Pebbles, they're just not like as sweet. It's just like something's missing. It tastes like That's the knockoff version yeah. of it. If you were that like set on having homemade Starbucks, I feel like you could easily find the exact Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we didn't put the syrup. They're really close. It's just something's missing. They just taste healthier. They, I was gonna say, they taste like the healthier version. They're like version. the healthy version, like the non-fat yeah. version. We're gonna go ahead and end this video here thank you guys so much for watching even though it wasn't we didn't we kind of failed they didn't turn out one. the way we had hoped
But we hope you guys enjoyed watching anyways. This video's post notification shout out goes to Nayeli Bravo. Thank you so much, Nayeli, for watching our videos and supporting the channel. We really appreciate you. If you guys want to get a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and comment down below when done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!